I'm sitting in, an, in a commissioner's meeting and I get this call. So I said, God, so I had to get up and answer it. I looked down and I saw it was Tuskegee guy. So I called, so I got, and they told me I had been inducted. And man, it was just about hard. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do to hold back the tears. That was difficult. Uh, as a matter of fact, I told them, so this, we ended the meeting kind of early because it was very, very exuberating to, to me to, to reach a point where here I am in a Hall of Fame. It was something that you never think it would happen to you and all of a sudden it is. So being a young African-American who came up, grew up in a segregated environment, it was very exciting for that to happen to me. I had a great career in the Air Force and I, uh, it made me a better person. And I love the military. I just never thought I'd ever get a chance to do that. You know, I just, you don't know. You just don't know. And it was very exciting. Very, very exciting. And it was even more exciting when I went down to Tuskegee and walked into the Chapter James Museum the first time because I didn't, I knew they had it, but I had never been in it. And it is beautiful. Big building, named after the first African American four star general in the United States Armed Services. And his pictures and stuff are all over the place. Jump James. Even his airplane that he used to fly was down was there. It was really, really something to see. And to be in that building and looking on that wall, looking at all being up there with all these generals and these other past colonels, some of them dead and all that. It was just, it's hard to explain how, how you feel, you know. I just, I, it, it was, oh, I don't know. What do you say when you reach a height where you, something happened to you and, none, you, don't, and you don't expect it and it does happen? That's what happened to me.